your local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice here on the local view that we are 99% of us dry. There is one little rogue shower that has just formed not long ago in Charlotte County. Give this about 15 minutes and it should be rather to the east of our viewing area. Most amount of cloud cover right now actually further north into parts of Highland County where you are partly to mostly cloudy. The rest of us right now are seeing a nice mix of sun and clouds, more sunshine than anything else. All right, here's a look at future tracker and you'll notice that tonight is dry. Tomorrow we're going to have partly sunny skies. So overall on Thursday during the daylight hours, we have nothing to worry about. We are dry everywhere. But that may change for us as we head into Thursday night. I think in the evening hours, we're still pretty quiet, going to turn mostly cloudy tomorrow evening. And then by around 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning on Friday, we're going to have some scattered showers around. Now, as we go through time, you'll notice that that first little batch of rain should be for the most part gone between 7 and 9 a.m. on Friday. And then by midday Friday, we actually start to see some breaks of sunshine. You don't want to see that on Friday. You just would prefer uh, Friday to be cloudy all day. Why? Because we're gonna have a strong and powerful cold front pushing through here as we head later Friday afternoon into Friday night. And what that's going to do is provide us more rain chances, more showers and thunderstorms. And yes, the severe weather threat is indeed there for us as we head into Friday evening. I want to talk to you about the severe weather outlook for tonight. Highest probability of severe weather will be in places like Oklahoma City and Wichita Falls across the Red River Valley. Now, as we head into Thursday, that severe weather shift moves to the east into portions of Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and even Tennessee. And then by Friday, we have a uh, chance for maybe a couple of storms to turn strong to severe again very late in the afternoon into the evening. Looks like on Friday there's a higher risk for severe weather across the deep south, really into places like Atlanta and Birmingham. But we too could have a couple of stronger thunderstorms to close out the work week. And it's all because of the slow pressure system that's moving in from the west. Periods of rain and storms in the forecast Friday with off and on showers still in the forecast even as we head into the day on Saturday. So how much rain are we looking at as we head Friday into Saturday? I'd say anywhere from about a half an inch to two inches of rain with perhaps south side locations being the zone that sees the highest amount of rain as we head into this next storm system. We're tracking the humidity too and the muggies are certainly around for us today. It looks like the muggies may start to retreat just a little bit by tomorrow only to go back up big time as we head into Friday. Temperatures stand right now 78 in Blacksburg, middle 80s in Roanoke, Lynchburg, and also south side. For tonight, we're feeling much more comfortable. Overnight lows in the 40s and 50s, 48 to 56 to be exact. Three days zone by zone forecast, 70s in the NRV for the next couple of days, falling into the 60s in the Highlands Friday and Saturday. You're at 80 tomorrow south side, falling to 70 on Saturday. For Lynchburg, 70s Thursday, Friday, 60s Saturday, Sunday, back up to near 80 Tuesday, Wednesday, and across the Roanoke Valley, a good chance for rain Friday into Saturday, drying out Mother's Day. Monday and Tuesday of next week look really nice as well with skies partly to mostly sunny.